in the previous video we had seen what is the left outer joint but in this video we will learn how to create inner joint so first understand what is the inner joint structure suppose this is the first table attributes and this represents the second table attribute but we need the inner values only so these inner values are intersecting between using this vector so if you are observing this common values in between table 1 and table 2 then you can say it is the part of inner joint let's practice upon equal part first and foremost i can see what are the different attributes in my post tables how i will do that select a stick from model and run this query you can see so many columns are there and 13 rows are there similarly i'll check left top query left top table and run this command and see 1 2 3 4 5 columns are there and so many rows are there now i want to join these two, two these two tables and want to see what is the inner and what is the common rows in between these two tables on the basis of model id i can observe from the both tables that model id is the common column in between model and laptop so what i will do select a string from table give the alias name of table laptop using as l and write join and write inner join and write the second table name model and create the alias name model as m now you can include this table with certain condition so what is the condition and what is the column common column in these two tables that is model id so i'll write the first alias name l dot model id is equal to m dot model id so i'm going to run that code you can see this is showing the common rows from the laptop table and the model table and giving the inner joint so as we have seen in the given architecture that the common values in between these two tables we are having the common rows suppose you want to stick on the basis of so this is the laptop having inventory id and this is the model having id only so you can see from the id the architecture of the id in the model and the architecture of inventory id in the laptop are almost same so you can have on condition or the common rows in between the the second column common column so inventory id from the laptop so l is the alias name for the laptop and i can use inventory id and for the model table i'll select ID. So you can see from the model, I am having the column name as ID. So this will give, this will give like L dot inventory ID is equal to M dot ID. Select a stick from laptop as L in a join model as L. So I am going to execute. You can see again, I am having few rows. That is the common in between these two tables. All right. Suppose you want to perform some particular condition like where brand brand with certain names 
let's say i am selecting d e l l dell only or let's say apple because apple are large in numbers in rows but you will have to tell the compiler that which is the part of brand so brand brand is belonging to which table so let's see so in the laptop table we don't have any brand column but in model name certainly we are having brand column so i'll select that model that is m dot brand is equal to apple and execute it again execute the query again you can see i'm having less number of rows but the rows which i am depicting over here is having brand name only apple the so brand is equal to apple are the call the the respective name and the inner join those are column common in between model and laptop so this is the inner join in the sql query thank you